Welcome to Functional Horsemanship. I'm out today on a pretty hot day. It's about 95 degrees out here in the Chihuahuan Desert. And I'm just taking a few shots on some of the plant life out here. I think uh, your trail rides is uh, more interesting if you know what kind of, kind of environment you're moving in and uh, a little bit about the plant life and wildlife. This right here is a yucca plant. It's uh, probably one of the most recognizable plants out here in the Chihuahuan Desert. And you see those uh, those white colored leaves on top of it. Uh, horses will eat those and it's, it's easily okay for them to eat. It's also good goat feed, cow feed, and, uh, and rabbits like them as well. It actually tastes like lettuce and it's pretty moist, has a little moisture content. That's a yucca plant. That's uh, okay for your horses to eat. As we're moving on through here, uh, there's some plants that aren't good for the horses to eat. That plant right there, that's what we call snake weed. Horses will reach down there if you let them and grab a mouthful of it. It ain't going to hurt them too much, but if they eat too much of it, they can get sick, cause colic. It's called snakeweed. It's a good plant to remember. Okay, we've got some uh, chamisa up here. Let me show you what this stuff is. It's cow feed in rough times. and My goats love it as well. This right here, this is called chamisa. And it's also known as uh, desert uh, four-wing salt bush. Uh, the, the little kernels get hard and you can pop them off, eat them like granola. Of course, need a little bit of sugar with them, but cows eat the heck out of that and so do goats. And here on the other side of Junior, we've got some uh, sage. And although that smells good if you burn it, it's not a good type of feed. And uh, I wouldn't advise letting your horses eat that. They probably won't because of the kind of bitter taste, but that's called sage there. Then up ahead, we've got some mesquite over here. And although it ain't time for it to start growing beans, we may see a little bit of pods. Uh, but this plant's called the mesquite plant. And uh, in rough times, cows will eat the beans. It's a good source of protein and phytonutrients. Uh, you could pick the beans off it as well and cook them just like you would green beans. That's the mesquite plant. And as you see, the very top of that mesquite plant, you got some chamisa growing through it. Actually, what you're seeing is really a mesquite tree. You're only seeing about the top third of it. The bottom two-thirds is covered in dirt, and that's what gives forth those sand mounds. But again, that's chamisa growing through the top of that mesquite, and then uh, mesquite grows around it. Hope this helps you enjoy uh, the, the Chihuahuan Desert and some of the plant life. I'll be uh, looking for some more and posting that soon.